All right, Dan Orlowski, former Detroit Lions. Remember, he ran out of bounds and didn't even know it in the end zone. Uh, and also ESPN analyst tells Matthew Stafford on the phone that if the team doesn't win this year, it's the correct move to move on. Let's talk about it. That subscribe button, bell icon button, uh, share the video. And I appreciate it. Check out our Detroit Lions talk playlist. But, you know, rational football fans and not fanboys out here understands that that's the rational move for both parties is a, is, is a, is a, in a, is an agreed upon split, you know, because at this point he been here for it'd be twelve years this year. He hasn't won nothing. It's not working. It's not his fault in particular. This organization just needs a special player at the quarterback position to elevate them, especially in the running game, you know, and elevate the franchise. And Matthew Stafford is not special. I don't care where you put him at. He's not a special player. He's a great player, but special players are. Our elite caliber players, I mean, you can go on John Elway, you know what I'm saying? Um, Joe, I mean, I wouldn't say Joe Montana. I think he more was a system guy. He was a great player. Peyton Manning, guys like that. You know, Russell Wilson, I think is, a, I'm not saying he's better than uh, Joe Montana. I'm just saying that, you know, he got some skills that allows Seattle to work. Without him, they put a pedestrian quarterback there. That team probably, it probably fails to win four games. Just a special player that can, you know, erase some of the uh, the issues with the organization. But like I said before, he's a good quarterback. And on any other team, I think he'd be Hall of Fame bound. I think he'd rack up some playoff wins. He might have some Super Bowl and Super Bowl uh, wins as well, Super Bowl appearances. But, you know, Orlowski is just telling him the truth. And everything is pointing to, if they don't win this year, that it's going to be a split. You know, he has a potential out in his contract this year where this is the last year the Lions owe him guaranteed money. Um, he's making 15 million this year as well. No quarterback wants to play on uh, a deal where the money ain't guaranteed. Nobody, you know, also he's selling his house. He said, Oh, it's a family thing. First it was the pool, right? Oh, we got a pool, but they find out his, his house in Georgia got a pool. I think he's preparing to leave Detroit. I said it before. Um, I think Detroit is prepared to move on from him if they don't win this year. Straight up and down. I mean, the signs point towards it. Orlowski ain't saying nothing that's not true. The house for sale. Oh, we we just want to get rid of it because of the pool. That Georgia house got a pool. So, you know, at the end of the day, y'all selling y'all Georgia house because you don't want your kids to fall in the pool? No. All right? We move on. This is his last year getting guaranteed money. There's a potential out. So, you know, Dan Orlowski gave him the advice and basically was like, you know, if you don't win this year, you need to leave. You know, now he's not going to say what Stafford said. I didn't read that. You know, he should keep that between him and Stafford. You know, he shouldn't have said, oh, I talked to Stafford. No, I just think Stafford should move on. Now you now you creating unnecessary media chaos. Now Stafford going to get asked all season, are you leaving? Are you moving on if we don't win? You know, at the end of the day, is this team built to win now? It's yet to be seen. Do Matt Patricia got everything he wanted in place? All 11 guys on defense is the guys that he handpicked. Yes. They rebuilt the offensive line? Yes. They find another running back? Yes. Do they got their three pass catchers from last year coming back? Yes. I said, Hawkinson take a step like George Kittles? Shout out to George Kittles for getting the bag. But four or five year, $96 million contract? Yes. They got backup for TJ Hawkinson? Yes. So everything is pointing towards the Lions should have a successful season in, what, year three of Matt Patricia? All right, and was it year four or five for uh, Bob Quinn? All right, everything is pointing towards it should, but to be honest, Orlowski is just creating unnecessary chaos in our organization right now. He should have just kept that to himself. Well, I talked to Stafford and said he needs to leave. It's not you. We know it's not Matthew Stafford. You know, that's that's the primary reason for us not winning. You know, Barry Sanders knew it. Calvin Johnson knew it. You go on, 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 so on, and so on, and so on. You know, Stafford was born probably, you know, he probably was born, you know, a few years too late. Had he been a quarterback in the 90s, this team probably won a Super Bowl. You know, that's what was lacking with Kramer and Pete and Ware and Scott Mitchell and Charlie Bianch. You know what I'm saying? That's what was lacking, a lack of quarterback play. You know, but, you know, overall, I think Orlowski should have kept that phone call to itself. I didn't like that, you know, right before camp. And he just did a me media availability. He will be doing another media availability a press conference in uh, Matthew Stafford. But I I'm glad he dropped that after he went on. But, you know, my thing is this. 
you know, if it's not working for me, I'm switching it up. That's just that's just my idea on it. A lot of Lions fans are married to the fact that we can't win with Matthew Stafford. We can't win without him. But we haven't won with him. All right? Is it his fault? Mayhew, Lewan, even Matt Millen affected him. And Bob Quinn hasn't done enough to put things around him. No, it's not his fault. But at some point, you have to move on and try something different. 12 seasons, if he does not successful this year, 12 seasons of losing, it's not fair to him. It's not fair to the Lions. It's not fair to the fans. He deserves to go on and be in an organization and win. He says that he believes a contender is going to come and get Stafford after this year. Now, what contender could we be having looking at Stafford this year? You never know. You know, if you look throughout, you know, the NFC, you know, who would need a quarterback? You know, the Rams, they got, they married to golf. The Cardinals is married to uh, Kyler. Jimmy Garoppolo is married to the 49ers. Russ is married to the Seattle Seahawks right now. There's been some talks they may move him. The Eagles is married to Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts. Dallas is married to Dak. Maybe, you know, they let Dak go and they get, you know, Matthew Stafford down there. Who knows? That Dallas could be a standing point. He's from that area. You know, Washington, right now, they got Alex Smith coming back. I don't know why the fuck he coming back. He ain't going to do nothing but injure himself. You got, you know, Dwayne Haskins right now. New York is married to, uh, you know, Daniel Jones, who I like a lot. You look at the NFC South teams. If Tom Brady get injured or don't work this year, Drew Brees, maybe New Orleans look to move in for, you know, Matthew Stafford. Maybe Tampa look to move for Matthew Stafford. You know what I'm saying? Carolina, they just signed Teddy Bridgewater. And then who else? Atlanta. They married to Matt Ryan. I don't think anybody in the NFC North, you know, we would trade Stafford too unless we release them and they pick them up. Possibly Chicago would probably be the team that I would look at. Aaron Rodgers got a backup in Jordan Love. Kirk Cousins just signed another uh, extension. You go out to the NF AFC. Pittsburgh could be looking at Matthew Stafford. You know, if Ben Roethlisberger don't work this year. He looked like he 400 pounds and got a porn addiction. The Browns, I think, you know, who knows? I think they stick with Baker a little bit longer. Uh, Baltimore got Lamar. Right now, they got Joe Burrows in Cincinnati. Indianapolis could be looking at Matthew Stafford as well, too. So we got Indianapolis, possibly New Orleans, Tampa after this season. Um, uh, it was another team on Dallas. So those are, are some teams you could you could look at. Houston, I think, is going to stick with Deshaun Watson, hopefully if they smart. Um, Jacksonville, you know, maybe they'd be another team. They'd be looking at Stafford. I don't know if he would want to go there. That's like going from the Lions to the Jags, but that's another team that could be there. Tennessee married to uh, Ryan Tannehill. You go Patriots, maybe they look at bringing in Matthew Stafford next year if it don't work with Cam and Jason Stidham. All right, then you look at Buffalo, you know, maybe they stick with Josh Allen, I believe so. Sam Darnold, they seem to like him in the New York Jets for some reason. Miami, they got Tua. You go to the NFC, uh, AFC South, uh, West. Denver, I think Drew Locke is going to be okay. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes is there. Justin Herbert and Tyrod Taylor in San Diego or Los Angeles. But the team you look at is, is, is the Raiders. If Derek Carr and Mariota don't work, they can cut Derek Carr and I owe him nothing for my mileage. So, you know, some few landing spots for Stafford to go out there in Las Vegas. Um, you know who else would say? Uh, uh, Dallas, Pittsburgh. You know what I'm saying? So, Indianapolis. So there are some landing spots for Matthew Stafford out there that, you know, maybe he can get it done there. But quite frankly, I think or Orlowski should have kept that uh, confidential, um, giving him that advice. And I think he I think he is prepared to leave. Putting the house up for sale, you know what I'm saying? They ain't look they ain't bought another house in Michigan yet. You know, I think he is prepared to leave, and um I think he should leave. And I've been saying that. People get mad at me and say, Oh, you're a Stafford hater, I'm a realist. You know, if something ain't working for 10 or 11 or 12 years, hey, man, I'm switching it up. That's just me personally. I'm not pushing my opinion on you as a religion or a creed or some shit like that. It's just my opinion. I've been with a guy rid of his ass. It's not that I don't like him. It's just not a good fit here. You know, well, that's what people don't understand. People think, oh, you hating on Stafford and he's not the reason we losing, but he ain't the reason we winning. <laughs> you know, if you forward, if you what, what is he like four and 85 versus winning teams like the above 500, get out of here. <laughs> Come on, man. If your battery keep draining every morning for 10 years, you're eventually going to switch it, right? 11 years, 12 years. So, you know, at the end of the day, this if he do leave next year, this is brief credence. If they, if they do, if they, let's just say the Lions have, let's say, let's say they go 8-8 eight eight next year, right? 7-9, 6-10, or whatever, right? And they trade Stafford, right? It's not working. This, these are grounds to be fired. Because you could have got a quarterback last year. 
You could have got a quarterback last year. You could have got Tua, you know what I'm saying, and took Tua last year and been prepared for life after Matthew Stafford. Stafford is coming off two years where he had a back injury. And those don't tend to heal that well. Two years of a back injury, and you still don't put a respectable backup quarterback behind Matthew Stafford. And if you get anywhere short of the top three next year, and you don't get Fields, you don't get Lawrence, or unless there's another quarterback prospect to come out there, and who knows, because it may not be a season, it's not like the Big 12 and SEC is going to play, and maybe the S, uh, ACC is going to play as well. If you don't come out this this draft, if you don't come out this draft top three, like I said before, you're going to shoot yourself if Tua become a really good quarterback, or even Herbert become a really good quarterback, or Hurts become a really good quarterback, or Jacob Eason becomes a really good quarterback. They are not prepared for life after Matthew Stafford after two years of a back injury. After last year, you didn't win a game with Driscoll and Blog and, and other guys. you still not prepared. At the, they, deserve, they deserve to lose. All the great things about the Patriot way, they fail to take. The Patriots always kept one in the chamber. Brissett, Mallet, Hoyer, Matt Castle, Jimmy Garoppolo, they always have a solid quarterback. Tom Brady behind Bledsoe. You know, they always had a solid one behind him. You know, and right now you got a 12-year quarterback with a fucked up back and you don't have nothing behind him. They deserve to be fired if it don't turn out this way. They deserve to be fired if they trade water around 6 and 10, 7 and 9, 5 and 11, 4 and 12. If they outside that top three and, it, you know, they don't get a, a blue chip quarterback next year, if Matthew Stafford don't win, they deserve to be fired. But if they trade Stafford and they're able to get solid compensation, maybe they can move up the draft board. But, hey, let me know what you guys think about Orlowski comments. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. All my social media there, Twitter is the fast way, then Facebook, then IG. Want to make a donation? Cash out to CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to.